Stott. I'm James Stott, and I'm a former Royal Marines Commando. I was in the military for 14 years, serving Queen and country, embarking on some of the British military's toughest operations. Been through the most arduous training on the planet, but I still like to get out of my comfort zone. And that's why I did Britain's Got Talent. I'm used to being part of a team, a brotherhood, so to do it alone was tough. I've never been on stage before, but against the odds, I did myself proud. Gladiator! I'm not the first in my family to join the military. 70 years ago, my grandfather enlisted, so it's only natural that I'd follow in his footsteps. Commandos are highly skilled soldiers that get the job done. It's a state of mind that definitely helps me. Tonight, I'm gonna to be using the unique skills and qualities that I learned in the Royal Marines. But the stakes are high. I want to win Britain's Got Talent. And like my time in the Marines, I have to push my boundaries. Tonight, you're gonna see something that you've never seen before. Gladiator! I'm gonna be risking my life to get through to the final. <laughs> On stage tonight is a photograph of my grandfather, and I want to honor this spirit of family in my performance. The last time we met, I used my skills to read you. Tonight, it's very different and far more dangerous. Because tonight, I'm in one of these boxes. I think we've all realized, especially over the past few months, how important it is to look after family and remember loved ones. When I was fighting in Afghanistan with the Royal Marines, we'd receive parcels from family and friends at home. And they weren't as big as the boxes on stage. They were small boxes of simple things, food and chocolate. But it meant so much to us on the front line because it was a link back to our families. Tonight, you're gonna to make a series of decisions that will seem to be free and completely random. However, I will attempt to subliminally sway these choices. If this doesn't work, I accept full responsibility for what's about to happen. You're all completely absolved of any blame. It's important that you listen carefully. Although you can see me, I can neither see nor hear you. There are five boxes on stage, numbered one to five. Rigged high above each box is a one-ton weight. My colleague is holding five colored pieces of paper. Each color features on the Royal Marines flag and is numbered one to five. When you choose a color, the number will be revealed. Whatever that number is, step over to the detonator buttons and push that number. That weight will then drop and completely crush the box below. David, choose a color. Uh, red. Now go over to the detonator button and push that number. Alicia, please name a color. Yellow. Now go over to the detonator button and push that number. Amanda, there are three colors left. Choose one of them. I'm gonna go for seafoam green. Now go over to the detonator button Push that number. Ashley, there are just two boxes left, and it's important that you listen to exactly what I'm going to say. There are two remaining colours, and in a moment you're going to choose one of them. Don't search for a choice, just allow it to arrive naturally. What colour do you want? Black. Now, go over to the 
to the detonator button and push that in there. Some of you may think this was a game of chance, but in the Marines, we learn not to rely on luck. David, you chose number three. Alicia, one. Amanda, five. Ashley, two. And the final color is number four. I told you I wanted to honor the spirit of family in my performance tonight. The photograph of my grandfather has been on stage the whole time and no one has touched it. David, can you please read out the digits on my grandfather's dog tags? Three, one, five, two, four. Wow. I'm the Magic Marine. Thank you. Good night. What? Wow.